gun with the cone magnet, and look what we got, the first freaking treasure. It's a thunderbolt throwing knife. Looks like it's stainless steel. Perfect point, the thunderbolt. Ooh, Colonel Click Magnet Hunters, we got the grenade knife with a rope cutter, titanium glass breaker, and a coated blade. Check that bad boy out. It's also got a pocket clip on either side. Stubby. <laughs> See ya. Get your click on, people. Okay, I dipped my magnet right here, and I've got a multi tool. Let's see it. Move your hand. From Cabela's. Oh, on the thousand pound brute magnet. Look at that bad boy, like brand new. Yep. So, get your clink on. <laughs> All right, we got another hit. We got a ring, baby. Hold still so I can see. All right, folks, it's a multifaceted night. Drew just got himself a stainless steel ring. I got two knives. He got a Cabela's multi-tool, and now I just got this. Zing, look at that. Let's see if you can get that to focus on that bad boy. Probably not. Anyhow, you can see it there. I got a diamond earring. I don't know if it's a real diamond, but a diamond looking earring, a diamond stud earring. There we go, we got some jewelry people. Colonel Clink Magnet Hunters getting their clink on right here this evening. We're about to finish up here and go home and get us some chow. So we will see what we find next before we head home. Until then, get your clink on, people. All right, folks, here's the wrap up. Tonight, Colonel Clink Magnet Hunters, we went to one of our favorite spots. We haven't been out in a good long while. And we had a great night. A little short hunt, but some good treasure. Check it out. Let's come down here. First of all, magnets we're using are Brute Magnetics. That's as good as it gets for magnet fishing. All right, here, starting on uh, my right, your left, is the Thunderbolt. What does that say for the, the brand on there? Let me see here. Thunderbolt, perfect point, it says. Thunderbolt, nice little boot knife. It's got some jimping on the on the blade here, where you can put your thumb. Nice little knife right there. And then Drew got the Cabela's multi tool. Has all kinds of tools on this bad boy. Look at here. You got knives. You got screwdrivers. Flat tip screwdrivers on there. You got over here. You got a bottle opener. You got a saw and a little scissors. Look at that. Buzzing, people. The Drew Meister scored on that. All right, and then we got our militant explosion here, the grenade knife with a rope cutter on there, a glass breaker, and a short little stubby knife. And not only that, this little bad boy's a liner lock, but it also has assisted opening. Boom, chakalaka. Check it out. And over here, we had a jewelry department. Drew got this nice ring on there. That bad boy's got a little heartbeat and then two little blips like a heart monitor. And then right after that, I got this nice little diamond studded earring. And then we got this item here. A little crank for, a, looks like a crank for a pipe clamp or something like that. Who knows, may come in handy. So that's tonight's wrap up. For Colonel Clank Magnet Hunters and all you people out there that like to dunk your magnets, get your clank on, people. All right, folks, just make sure at the end of your magnet fishing extravaganzas that you have out there in the field is that you do the most important thing. Not only is it good harvesting the treasure, but right here, get rid of the trash out of our lakes, rivers, and streams. Okay? So, before you head out of the park or wherever it is that you're magnet fishing, you go over to the trash can, you pop the lid off, make sure you put it back when you're done, take all the garbage that we found, and do what the responsible thing is to do. Get it out of the lake, and into the trash can. We'll see you next time at some undisclosed location. Till then, keep clinking.